unasikia mimi si mama yako ni utavute Mungu mwenyewe hapa wewe ukae hapo mimi nikuombe mimi nikuombe nini wewe tafuna bigiji hapo ufiki mimi nakuombea nikuombe Kenya nzima niombe nani ni wache nani eh kila mtu atausukua usiko wake wewe kaa hapo kose kuomba ufiki mimi mimi najua shida yako ni gani ni wewe mwenyewe ujue tu tukiomba Let's talk about struggling pastors. Yeah, struggling pastors. The small pastors, eh? The ones who live in a one bedroom house like you. You know, the ones who wear mtumba shoes, the ones who wear second hand suits, you know, the ones who preach on the buses, those type of pastors. Let's talk about them for a moment here, okay? And we are going to be contrasting them to celebrity pastors. So, I'm going to be talking about the struggling pastor, the celebrity pastor, and the congregants. Because really, all this is pivoted on the behavior of the congregants. You see, in this country, we have big pastors with big names, with big churches, with big congregations. They have branches from here to the U.S. The big celebrity pastors, you know them, you can mention them. You know, the likes of Kuna, you know, the likes of, uh, <laughs> of Apostle Nganga, uh, of uh, James, uh, James Nganga, Harrison Nganga. Uh, there's the one, the other one, Anitangwa John William Kemani. You know them. You know the big celebrity pastors. Yeah, we know them, right? The ones with the big names. The ones which, if you mention them here, you know who I'm talking about. The big celebrity pastors. Now, here's the thing amongst congregants congregants love to be associated with success, they love it. Eh? And so, what they do, they say that they are members of Kanisaya Mutuflani, the big celebrity pastors. They say they're congregants of the big pastors. They say that their spiritual father is the celebrity pastor. Meanwhile, this celebrity pastor doesn't even know your name. Hmm? <laughs> but you are there saying, Mimi ni mtoto wa kiroho wa kanisa ya kiuna. Does that lady bishop know your name? Eh? Haya. Let's, let's go to uh, the small pastors now. Listen, for the people who are fanatics and who are crazy about big pastors, these big pastors, they don't know your name. They don't know where you live. They don't know how many kids you have. They don't know what problems you're facing in life. You only see them on Sunday in the pulpit wearing their nice flashy suits and walking on the red carpet and posing for photographs with a few VIPs there in the church. But they don't know your name and you don't know them either. You only see them up there on the screen there. You see them in the church, but they don't know you and the troubles you're going through. So when it comes to practical shepherding in your life, you are actually relying on the small pastors. The ones who come to do graduation ceremonies for your children. The ones who come to do weddings. Because if you try to book the big pastor, my friend, big pastor is only booked by big people. Eh? They only preside over celebrity weddings and big weddings. They never preside over small weddings of a nobody like you. They will never. They only do it for celebrities and big people. Hmm? So you, when you want to be baptized or you want, um, let's say you do infant baptism, and I don't recommend infant baptism, but let's say you want your kids to be baptized. If you have a graduation ceremony for your kids, if you have a birthday party or a retirement service for yourself, or if you have, let's say, I don't know what it is, maybe your kids are being rebellious and you want somebody to talk to them. Uh, let's say your marriage has trouble and you want a pastor to come and counsel your marriage. Do you know who you're running to? The small pastor. The one who lives in a one bedroom or a single room. The one who preaches on the buses. The one who wears mtumba shoes and mtumba suits. That is the one who's doing the practical work of shepherding you. But, but unasema, you still say to yourself that you are a child of Kanisa Kubwa, of Pastor Mkubwa. Okay? And more often than not, these junior pastors are also junior pastors under the celebrity pastor. Okay? They're the ones to whom these tasks of shepherding are delegated because celebrity pastor is a celebrity. Hmm? Far be it from them to be found next to you in a hospital bed. If you are admitted in hospital, do you think celebrity pastor will come and stand next to you? No. It is the small junior ones who are being sent to actually do the actual work of shepherding. But when it comes to your tithe and to your offerings and to your giving, who do you give this money to? Celebrity. You tithe to celebrity, you give money to celebrity and all these things. But let me tell you, those junior pastors, they are barely, barely paid enough. They are barely supported, they are barely mentored, and they are barely counseled. And if they are mentored and counseled, it is based on whether the pastor likes you or not. So you can serve as a junior pastor in one of these big churches for many years, but not really get support from senior pastor. You can stay there and struggle and struggle and struggle, and more, than, more often than not, celebrity pastors, they really make fun of and insult and downplay and look down upon junior pastors. 
huwa wanakaliwa they are, they, are, they are pushed down so that they themselves don't also rise so they are kept in a state of poverty in as much as um they have kids in school you'll find them taking their kids to public schools meanwhile the celebrity pastors kids are being taken to schools outside the country and the group of schools they are, they are, they are really being put in a place so you find their wives even their wives wanashinda na matuta they cannot even afford a nice dress that is where our junior pastors are kept why because these churches are more of businesses it's a competition nobody else can be allowed to be a celebrity more than the big celebrity himself now allow me to use a secular example and allow me to use um like really secular example here okay let me give you an example of um celebrity musicians in you know the western world eh? an example of justin bieber or like asha or pdd back when you know before pdd and all these scandals came out when these guys for a co they, when they go for a concert eh? women come there screaming eh? screaming because they've seen justin bieber leaving a car they scream and they scream and they're so excited they even remove their panties and their bras and they throw at that celebrity meanwhile there's a real man in this single woman's life a real man who is taking responsibility for her who is willing to be that man for her practical a real person who is practical but they ignore the real man in their life to go and be crazy about who about justin bieber and so they remove their panties and throw at him you know and they want to be groupies and they want to do all these type of things are you seeing the problem with this similarly let me use an example of uh also like beyonce yeah we know in that industry that beyonce has to be the one to shine anybody else who is coming up Anybody else who was coming up akwe alikuwa ni siara akwe alikuwa ni nani wote kariya zao zilimalizwa so that one person alone shines one person alone stands hmm? it's the same same thing in these churches same same thing all other junior pastors no matter how enabled they are to teach no matter how apt they are to be shepherds to be pastors to teach to to counsel to whatever it is if any junior pastor starts being liked by the congregant atapigwa na atamalizwa they will try to destroy that person's career completely okay and they are that person go and open another church the celebrity pastor will talk trash about this junior pastor and you who has actually been being shepherded by this junior pastor he has come for your graduations he has come to your hospital when you are sick he has come to see you he has been working with you practically when that rift happens more often than not, people will remain with the celebrity pastors because people want to be associated with great men of God. They want to be associated with big success. And you'll hear the senior and the big pastors talking trash about those small pastors. And you want to be pastored by a person who wears mtumba shoe. Mtumba shoe. Because they themselves have taken your tithe. They will not pay them sufficiently. Yeah? And then they'll continue to talk trash about them. And that is what happens. But let me ask you a question. Who is your brother? Are you your brother's keeper? The one who has stood with you when you were sick. The one who came to see you in hospital. The one who even helped you when your child was going to form one and you couldn't afford to make things happen and they went and did some type of harambe. Fine, the money they sent you was only 5,000 but they went out of their way to make sure that you're able to do your things. The one who came when your marriage was in trouble and helped you to bridge things together. The one who was there when your child was graduating and you came for the event and actually celebrated with you. You ignore that one because you want to be associated with a big pastor who does not know your name, does not know where you live, does not know what troubles you face. You are ignoring the junior pastor who is supporting you in favor of the big pastor. If this has been you, you need to repent from that behavior. You need to repent from that behavior. The one who has stood with you, stand with them. The one who has stood with you, the one who has been with you, stand with them. Celebrity pastors, they are not relevant pastors. They are more of public figures. They are more of PR people. They are there to be seen to create that brand and the image. But as far as shepherding is concerned, the practical work of shepherding, it is the junior pastors who do the work. Senior pastor is just there as an icon. And ideally, the senior pastor should hold the hand of the junior pastors. But they do not because of this spirit of competition, this spirit of jealousy, this spirit of only one man alone can shine. But you, the congregant, the problem is not even the celebrity pastor. It is you, the congregant, who holds up the celebrity pastor. With your money, you give to them. When it's their birthday, you give to them. When the junior pastor's birthday is there, you nobody bothers. But when it's the big one, everybody wants to go. When they've landed in the airport, you go there singing songs and carrying flowers. Whenever did you carry flowers for the junior pastor? Whenever. We need to be a loving people. Can we love?
these junior pastors they actually do laugh because they actually do go out of their way to help people but celebrity pastors they are too busy for you too busy for you so please give credit where it is due stop calling yourself the spiritual child of a of a big pastor who doesn't even know you the one who walks with you that is the one who is your shepherd honor the one who shepherds you and for all purposes, do not call anybody on earth your spiritual father. For one is your father who is in heaven. The one whom you pray in the Lord's prayer saying, Our father who art in heaven. There is nothing like spiritual fathers. Okay? But give honor to the person who actually does the part.